Solving Equations Containing Rational Expressions Part 3 Let's look at this equation here. 1 over x plus 1 over x minus 8 is equal to x minus 7 over x minus 8. Well, once again we need to look for a common denominator, except this time we have a monomial and a binomial in our equation. And remember, when you have both of those, then you have to include both of those as your common denominators. So our least common denominator here is going to be x times x minus 8. So we need to multiply both sides of the equation by both x and x minus 8. And again, if it helps you to remember it, you might want to put that all over 1. We're going to have to multiply all that by 1 over x. We're going to have to multiply all that by 1 over x minus 8. And we're going to have to multiply all of that by x minus 7 over x minus 8. Okay, when we do our first multiplication, this x and that x, being on the numerator and denominator, are going to knock each other out, divide out to give you 1, however you want to call it. It leaves us to multiply x minus 8 by 1. Well, when we multiply x minus 8 times 1, we get x minus 8. Now we're adding when we do our next multiplication, this x minus 8 and that x minus 8 are going to divide out. That leaves us to multiply x times 1, and x times 1 is x. On the other side of the equation, we have an x minus 8 that appears in both the numerator and denominator, so those will divide out. That's going to leave us with x times x minus 7 to multiply out. Well, when we do that multiplication, x times x gives us x squared, and x times negative 7 is negative 7x. Notice this time we have a quadratic equation. That is, we have an x squared in there. So let's first uh, combine like terms on the left-hand side. x plus x gives us 2x, so it gets 2x minus 8 is equal to x squared minus 7x. But when we have a quadratic equation, remember, we have to get 0 on one side, everything else on the other. So we're going to have to subtract 2x and add 8 on both sides of that equation. When we do that, it's going to leave us with 0 on the left, and then an x squared, and then negative 7x minus 2x is negative 9x. Minus 8. Now, to, to solve this equation, we're going to have to factor x squared minus 9x minus 8. So we're looking, since this starts with x squared, we're going to look for a pair of numbers that has a sum of negative 9 and a product of negative 8. Well, uh, if we do we're not going to get that to work because I made a mistake here. This is plus 8. So that should be a plus 8. There we go. Okay, now we're looking for two numbers that has a, a product of positive 8 and a sum of negative 9. And that will, whoops, that will be negative 8 times negative 1. Now remember our little chant for solving equations that are quadratic like this. Put it in standard form, factor, split, solve, and check. So we've got in standard form, we factored it, now let's split it up. We'll solve the equations x minus 8 is equal to 0, or x minus 1 is equal to 0. Well, if x minus 8 is 0, that means x is 8, and if x minus 1 is 0, then x is 1. Now remember, we always, 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 always need to go back and check these. Go back up to the original equation, preferably plug every x plug in the number for x on everything, but at the very least, make sure that you make sh you see that you're not going to get a zero in a denominator. So let's check to see what happens if x is 8. Well, if x is 8, 1 over 8 is just fine, but uh-oh, look in this second term at the top. x minus 8. If we replace x with 8, 8 minus 8 gives us zero, and that's not going to work. 
So 8 is not a solution, even though we thought it was going to be. On the other hand, 1 will work just fine. We get 1 over 1, we get negative 1 seventh there, and something over there. That's going to be okay. And so it appeared at first that we were going to have two solutions, but in fact, we only have one solution. X is 1. Now, you might have actually two solutions at times, or you may just have one, or it could be. We could have, we could probably dream up some equation that had no solution, even though it looked like we were going to have two of them at first. This is not one of those cases, though. We just had one solution. Okay, that completes part three of the video. Now look for part four.